Hi everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenger. Welcome back to my channel. And it is a three day weekend for Memorial Day. I plan on doing, well, hopefully five videos <laughs> over the weekend. So you're in for a treat this week, if I manage, okay? But what am I doing today? Cause that's, uh, you saw the title already. Uh, here's the backstory. Uh, last week, I think it was Sunday night. I needed something Chinese. All right, so I, <laughs> I told Scott, hey, I found a new Chinese supermarket uh, that we haven't visited yet. So it's in Springfield, New Jersey. I told him it closes in one hour, let's go. It's 20 minutes away. All right, so as we go there, on our way there, we discovered that there was a thrift store that I had never heard of before. It's called Second Avenue Thrift Store. Um, we went through a Chinese place really, really quick, bought a few things, including um, steam buns uh, for the kids. And I told him, let me go check out this um, thrift store. And it was maybe 10, 15 minutes before closing, okay? So <laughs> we didn't get to see a lot of stuff. The prices were excellent. They had a really, really big variety of stuff. So I told him I want to come back and I want to come back early um, at the beginning of the weekend so that if there's good stuff uh, for the shop, then I'll get them and then I'll be done with that for the whole month. So what I do, for those of you who uh, are brand new, welcome. I am uh, a reseller. I have an Etsy shop called uh, Frenchie and Tubby. I buy stuff either on the Facebook marketplace or at thrift store and then I resell them in my Etsy shop uh, for a profit. And that's a side hustle. There's a lot of people doing that. Um, there's actually way too many people doing that now. <laughs> because you can tell who the resellers are when you are at the thrift store um, and I've been doing that for three years now I think so what I do is that I Scott just got in the car what I do is that I um, set aside 25% of my income from Etsy and I reinvest it in inventory so this is what I'm doing today Scott is accompanying me and I tell you he is thrilled thrilled I tell you thrilled <laughs> and uh, he's probably actually going to edit this video for me to give me a break so Guess what? Uh, let's go. I'll see you in Springfield, New Jersey. Okay, here goes the Second Avenue Thrift Superstore. It's actually in Union, New Jersey, not Springfield. The Chinese store is in Springfield.
Did you see the horse's head? That's a Royal Hager from the 1950s. It is super, super rare. I went twice through all the aisles to see if there was the second one because they came in a pair, the bookends. <laughs> so coming soon on Etsy, because uh, I thought Scott was gonna fall head over heels <laughs> with it, but apparently not. You don't like it? Nah. The glaze is beautiful. Uh, anyway, Hager fans, I can't wait to share that on my Hager um, Facebook group. They're gonna go bonkers. <laughs> They're gonna go bonkers on this. Anyway, uh, we all went with the Chinese. I hope you enjoyed the store. I found some good stuff. Um, you know, knickknacks mostly, but uh, the Hager, <laughs> I, I'm disclosed from keeping it, okay? Uh, but I'm not. I'm gonna put it up for sale. Because, um, you know, I support the family with that Etsy shop, so I can keep everything. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, the supermarket. I'm looking for a few things. Uh, I'm gonna buy more of those steam buns. The kids like them. And then those sodas, bubble tea sodas that they got last time. And then uh, fermented um, roots, radishes and things like that. Cause that goes with my diet. And then uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Okay, Be being honest. So uh, we're just gonna take a tour of a true Chinese supermarket. I hope you have fun. Hey, we finally got some sunshine. Here's the Gold Valley Supermarket in Springfield, New Jersey.
okay we're done and it's 11 17 we'll be home before noon um i hope you enjoyed what i'm gonna do is go home and then i'll unpack everything and i'll show you what i got between the two stores and then i'll say goodbye um this is fascinating i got stuff for um the kids mostly and they these guys dinner tonight because i'm not going to eat anything that has uh, uh, flour in it but you know on Saturday night, it's an easy meal. We always tend to do something Asian, whether it's Korean dumplings or some kind of Japanese noodle. Um, I don't know, we enjoy it. So I'll see you at the house. Okay, I'm back home. Let's start with um, the vintage stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that I found at the thrift store. So, uh, for those of you who are in age, you recognize this. This is a either Ellie Smith or a Fenton, but I think it's a Fenton. Um, Daisy and Button iridescent carnival glass ball. It doesn't have a single chip. It is absolutely beautiful. It's actually more like a console uh, ball, so you would put that in your dining room and you can either do flowers or fruits whatever but it's uh, beautiful really really in gorgeous shape love the color on it okay next is this very strange cat mug i fell in love with this it's signed um i'm not sure <laughs> what it says i'm gonna have to uh, uh find out more about it but it's pretty pretty cool obviously it's handmade in a studio um it doesn't look like my fiona but that will go up for sale and then this bowl everything's got to get clean by the way it's signed um 1950 obviously it's hand painted very pretty vase and i think this is one of those that the ladies used to make themselves back in the days you know ladies had to um you know occupy themselves and they had crafts so they would buy those vases or bowls or plates that were uh, blank and they would just uh, paint on it. And this is really, really cute, 1950. This intrigued me, another pottery uh, piece. I liked it because of the dripping glaze on it. It is uh, Rupert uh, Delamino, I'm not sure. I can't read it uh, oh my glasses anyway um, but it's got the two holes here and I'm not sure what this is for so other than putting an onion or a garlic but it's a really really beautiful piece of pottery I mean look at this glaze really nice okay love it love it the cat uh, the cat is made in Thailand but it's a hand-painted ceramic uh, cat box I know I have a lot of cat lovers um, and also collectors of blue and white who will love this it's in perfect condition as well this um, all right I had one of those I sold it years ago this is um, I'll put the name down below I think it's Tom enough or something like that it's in really poor condition I didn't realize it was this bad but it's also extremely dirty um, but this is also from the 1940s it's German pottery uh, it's another one of those little um, you know knickknack that you would put on the bedside table or on the uh, little table in a living room um, Tominoff <laughs> I can't remember the name I'll write it down below so you can see it but um, it's numbered it's got this candle sticker here which I believe is just the guy who was importing them um but it's really really neat I, i'm looking forward to cleaning it so i can see how much gold is still there um i don't think there was gold here i hope i get to clean it well all right this one i can't find a maker on it um it does have the felt pad but i have to tell you this looks like tall to me and it's in really really good condition you hear the thunder it's been horrible horrible the last two days on the East Coast. Uh, it's a two-tier tray. You can use it for candy or sandwiches, tea sandwiches, or in your bathroom if you want to put some stuff on it. Um, but it's really, really neat. And this is what I was telling you about. 
this is a Royal Hager 1950s uh, bookend that's also a planter slash vase in really good condition it had just has one little chip right here but a collector would not care because they are hard to come by um, and my group is freaking out <laughs> that I got this for uh, under four bucks actually on um, at the thrift store they love it and they all want it so you're gonna have to hurry up if you want it too and then this piece here I'm keeping um, because it is American brain cut and it is fabulous it is in perfect condition this is all cut this is not acid um, etched actually cut by hand and it's a beautiful beautiful tree I love this And then this is the Chinese supermarket. Uh, I got red shen choy tips and those I saute and then um, in coconut oil or a uh, olive oil and um, they don't take long at all. They're a little minty but they are also gritty and I love that. And then these are regular um, baby bok choy. So tonight we'll have vegetables. And then I'll make the steam roasted pork bun. This is the um, uh, barbecue type. And then this is the regular type. And they are easy to make. You just basically take one of those flour thing. You put it at the bottom of your uh, pot with a little bit of water. And you let them steam uh, under boiling water for a good 15 minutes. The kids love those. Just add vegetables to it and soy sauce. And you're good to go. And then I'll make those picking spring onion cakes as well uh, tonight with um, the steamed buns and the vegetables and me I'll just have probably just a soup that's it uh, these are Edward and I's favorites we love uh, the seaweed and if you have um, any type of thyroid issue these are great as well I'm trying this tea here promotes relaxation ease tension and stress and it's with where are the ingredients? Uh, ginseng, poria plant, polyagala root, white mulberry leaf, stevia, Japanese sephora, chamomile, lemongrass, mint leaf, and licorice root. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I did get a uh, milk body lotion um, to put next to my bedside because I'm running out of my goat's milk. And then the pickled stuff, this is pickled radish. Um, That's my second box so far. I absolutely love those. And then I did buy some pickled ginger as well. And then for the kids, Edward gets uh, matcha green tea latte bubble tea. And then this is a taro with tapioca pearls. So I don't know what it tastes like. And then Willie really like these. This is peach flavor. This is white grape flavor and this one is uh, pear flavor and that would be it for my haul. It's super weird it's 12 o'clock noon and it feels like it's 7 p.m. <laughs> it got really really dark suddenly. Um, it's been like this for two days now and um, I'm tired of it because <laughs> my garden is not doing well with all this water. The French drain is working great, um, you know, it hasn't overflowed yet, so I guess that, what is it, 95 gallon I have in there, uh, is doing its job, and yeah, so that would be it. So it's still early in the day on Saturday, I'm going to spend the rest of the day uh, filming and assembling my quilt, uh, so that's coming up probably on Wednesday, um, I think this one's going to be either Sunday or Monday video. And that would be it. I'm going to have uh, one of those relaxing tea. Hopefully it won't put me to sleep. So for dinner, again, we're going to do the uh, Chinese. For lunch, I'm going to have probably some sorted vegetables and some type of fish. And that would be it. Give me a thumbs up if you like my haul from the thrift shop. I will go back to that particular thrift shop. It's 20 minutes. It's the same amount of time it takes me to go to uh, the Goodwill on the other side. And I would rather go there because this these prices are good. Prices were good. 
they had good stuff but it's the kind of place like you really have to look and look and look before you find something but i think i found some really cool stuff at that horse oh it's too bad it's got the little tiny chip but like i said anybody who is collecting them and needs the second one will not care about the chip so that would be it thank you for watching don't forget to check me out on facebook and instagram at my great challenge my great challenge gift on etsy for um channel merch and Frenchy and Tabby for my vintage stuff. Give me a couple of weeks. This is not going to be up for sale right away. Um, you know, it takes me time to process. I got to clean. I got to research. I got to uh, um, take the pictures. Scott has to box them. They got to be weighted. I got to do the pose. It takes a while. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.